Hi, my name is Tom. Um, I am so thankful that I was able to go on this eye-opening experience. It was amazing to be able to impact the lives of these kids in the Dominican and strengthen my relationship with God in the process. And I will definitely be signing up for uh, trips like this in the future. And I can't wait to see what God has planned for me. Hi, my name is Zach and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to go on this trip and build my relationship with Jesus and also just to see how Jesus works in different communities around the world and just the joy he brings. Hey guys, it's Mark. Uh, thank you St. Paul's for letting me go on this trip. I really appreciate it. I got to see new culture, do new things, and I got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I would say for you to do the same. Thanks again, St. Paul's. Hi, my name's Anita. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to get a chance to go to Hainamosa and just meet with all the amazing people there. Seeing their gratitude has been very inspiring for me and also just being able to have a new intake on life has been amazing. Hi, my name's Bronte. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It was amazing to meet the team in the Dominican Republic and see how they led activities and welcomed us in. Hi, I'm Zoe. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support you've given us throughout this whole mission trip and it was just amazing to see the work that God has been doing throughout the community of Hainamosa. Hey St. Paul's, my name is Will and I had the privilege of being a leader on the Hainamosa trip this past winter. Some of my favorite experiences were playing pickleball with Pastor Jose, making crafts with all the kids and playing Uno with the teens. Something I'm going to take away is to be bold in my faith. Um, the culture down there in the Dominican um, is so rich in community and they're not afraid to proclaim the name of Jesus. So when I go off into university, um, I want to tell others about Jesus and be bold in, in who Christ is. Hi, my name is Ryan and this is Cassie. Um, we had the privilege of co-leading the trip alongside the teens to the Dominican Republic this year. And it was a pleasure to also be going back because I was there as a 16 year old helping with the Christmas camp and it was amazing to go back as an adult. A personal takeaway for me was just the fact that I'm often very um, logistics and task oriented and so it was a good reminder for me to prioritize the relationships and the community building um, which takes time rather than just getting the job done and that was kind of a difference in our culture that I experienced while on the trip. Um, another difference was just seeing how the community and the actual area in which um, Jose and Gloria live has changed over the, the past years and it was beautiful to see the sports court um, just coming to life and able to be used by the teens in the afternoons and for Pastor Jose's vision to come to life um, with the sports courts. So that was a beautiful part to witness as well. My favorite memory of the trip uh, or my highlight was um, just worshiping with the Dominicans um, during the kids camp each morning um, and the Dominicans were playing their Spanish songs and um, we knew the words in English um, so we understood what they were saying but it was so awesome to hear the lively, the lively worship and the worship leaders just um, hyping the kids up and getting them excited and everyone standing on their feet and uh, yeah we could all worship the same God in just a different language. Hi, my name is Duncan Hunter and uh, we just got back from Hainamosa a month ago and I am super grateful to the congregation and to the leadership of St. Paul's for inviting us into this uh, discipleship piece where we got to um, get to know and, and be a part of discipling eight youth from our congregation um, with the intent of going down to the Dominican Republic and joining with 12 other churches there um, to run a kids camp. And it was beautiful and it was great to watch these youth mature and actually to watch ourselves um, be changed by the experience. So we're just grateful to all of you for supporting us and encouraging us uh, in this. Hi, I'm Carrie Hunter and I just want to say thank you for all uh, of your prayers and support uh, as we went down to the Dominican Republic. It's been uh, just a pure blessing uh, to have been able to track alongside these uh, eight youth uh, as we all dig deeper into our faith and uh, learn to stretch and go out and uh, sometimes um, feel a bit uncomfortable in a new setting uh, and doing new things, but uh, knowing that uh, we were fully supported uh, and that uh, God 
was with us each and every step of the way. So what we lacked, he provided in abundance. So just very grateful uh, to everyone who continued to pray and uh, support this team.